everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I, I spoke a few days ago about um, a journal project that's outstanding. I should have done it a long time ago. It's about 18 months overdue, I would say. Um, I promised to make somebody a journal and I haven't got around to doing it for various reasons. Um, I kind of think I got um, stuck on the project and left it and I didn't come back to it. So I've had to think about it. I've had loads of thoughts about it actually this week because I'd originally printed out all my papers and, and got everything ready and then I just stopped. Um, and then I've been thinking, oh, I'll do it smaller. I'll cut them down a bit, but then it's just not going to work with these and I'm going to be wasting some of these papers. Um, and then I thought, well, I really want to do a nature one and blah, blah, blah. And, and then I thought, no, just stick to the breeze. Stick to what you wanted to do. I wanted originally to make a mushroom or fungus type woodland um, journal. Um, I, I'm hoping this person I'm making it for likes mushrooms. I believe I heard them say it on one of their videos a long time ago, but I may be wrong, but that's what they're getting anyway. Um, and so I made some of these papers myself. This is one that I have made. Um, I'll sort of show you the whole thing. Um, I probably won't be able to see it. Oh, it's got some butterflies in there as well. But I wanted something that was not too in your face. Now, some of these, let me show you some that I have bought. Like that. I like that a lot. But it is quite busy and quite bright and, you know, which is fine. It's what I wanted, some of those things. But I also wanted something fairly subtle. So that's why I've I've made my own. Um, anyway, I've got too many pages, I think, so I've taken a few out and um, I've taken out mainly the tea stained pages, apart from the ones that I've done some printing on. Um, and the rest, they're a mixture really. That one obviously is one that I've bought, as is that one. Possibly that one, I'm not sure, because I've definitely got that image, so I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while. Um, but these ones are mine, some tea dyed paper in there and that's, I think that's one of mine as well and um, I've done some sewing as well. So I think this is where I'm heading and um, what I've done is, I think this is a roundabout, let me just double check on the measurements but I'm pretty certain that is like a4 minus the bits when you print it, it doesn't print right to the edge so it is roughly eight inches maybe very very slightly over eight inches by about six inches um and so i'm going to make the i've decided i am going to make the cover first because i'm going to make this fit in the co in the book but i'm going to try with a one and a half inch spine i'm hoping that's going to be sufficient I mean, I could make it two inches, but then I think it'd be far too chunky. So we will make do. So I've cut my book grey board. Now, this is A4 sized. So the width of that is more or less the width of the paper. There is about an eighth of an inch either side. And that is all. And I'm just going to, I was going to turn it round. And I thought, no, that's quite wasteful then cutting that out. I'm going to stick with the width of A4. So my plan is, if I was just doing a plain cover, I would have something like that and I would cover it all. But what I want is the way for it to shut, if this will work, is I'm going to put another spine, I don't know if you can see right on the edge here, like that, with this here. And my plan is that this will shut like that and I'll put some kind of closure on here either one of those with a tie on with a string or maybe um, a clasp I don't know but that is my plan obviously that would be inside there I like that and hopefully the journal will fit inside that is the plan so what I'm going to do is put these things together whether or not I cover it today or not I don't know but I will show you what I do when I do this. So this is, you could use Amazon packaging. You'd perhaps want a few layers of it. There's nothing, nothing wrong. And I've done plenty of things in Amazon packaging, but I, for this, I've just bought, well, I've, I've got some gray board. Now, when you stick them together, you need gaps. Otherwise they won't 
open and shut. Now you can use masking tape, that's what I used to use, but because my journal is predominantly sort of brownish in tone, I'm using some sort of papery packing tape, but I never just use it without any glue. And I'm using, well, I'm using Yoohoo, but I used to use Beacon uh, three in one all the time. But um, I think, and I say think because actually when you look at it, there's not a huge amount of difference, not where I'm buying my Yoohoo from, but I think it is cheaper to buy Yoohoo than it is um, to buy Beacon 3-in-1. Right, now I don't want like to lay this down. Normally I'd do it the other way up and put the tape underneath, but I'm going to wing it here. I'm lining it up, leaving a gap. And I'm going to stick my tape on over the top and I'm going to try and get it more or less central, but I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much. She says, what I do need to do is make sure that that gap is the same. All the way through, otherwise we'll have a wonky cover. Let's turn it over and take a look. I think, not too happy with that. That looks better and you can put some glue on that it doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it well I'm going to cover it so it won't really matter the tape is only going to be visible in the bits that don't have a bit of a cover on so so yeah I feel happy with this now, now I've decided I'm just going to stick to mushroom more mushroom than anything else I definitely feel happier about it Right, I'm just going to take that and that for now. And I suppose we could go down there. Um, I think I will do all of these as I go along. Right, I'm going to cut that straight. And it doesn't matter if we go, don't go quite to the edge because we have um, come around, if you know what I mean. We've, we've got a turnover. Let's try and cut that off there. I'm gonna run a little bead of this glue just down that, I don't know if there's any gone in there, down that bit, and then help it along there. And this will just neaten up so that we don't see it. We don't see the the joins. Right. I'm using an old like store card just to give myself a bit of a bend like that, so that that will fold, and then that will do for there. Right, so I guess we could do the next one. What I will do is put my tape down like I usually do. I think that's probably more sensible. She says, the hardest bit is getting the tape to lie down. There we go. I mean, it's sticking to me. Come on. I have to fold it in at the bottom there so it sticks to there. There, that'll do. Right, so what was I do? I'm going to stick that onto there. So I think what I will do is put some glue on here. You can glue the tape, you can do it either way around, it doesn't really matter. I will glue this pop it on something like that and the same down this side I'm actually going to use the side that I cut rather than the other side and that that cut side is then inside here leave yourself a gap try and keep it even which I've just about done. And 
Let's put some glue on here, the two little end bits, and they can fold over. So this might be, this is not the only way to make a journal. This is my way of making it. You might discover a better way. I quite just like the finish that it, it gives. And what I probably will do is go around all of the edges with the brown tape. Uh, let's have a look. So I'm going to put a little bead down the crack. Like that. And I'm going to do this with all the things I want to join. So I'll probably speed this bit up in a minute and then you won't have to sit for me doing it. But it's all the same, exactly the same. Just put your tape in, give yourself a bit of a gap, some wiggle room down there, like that. Slightly too long, I think. Right, so that's that's essentially a journal cover there. Whoops, sorry. Let's just make sure we do the back. So if you're just doing a normal cover, that is all you'd need to do. And then I will probably go around the edges with the tape just so that you don't see like bare board. And then I will cut panels to fit my um, journal. That's That's how I do it. But, you know, if you want to cover the whole thing, um, I don't have anything really that's A3 in size, it would need to be. Um, but if you've got wrapping paper or something, you could use that. Anyway, I'm going to continue, but I'm going to put it on fast forward. Hopefully my journal will fit in there like this and that will be the cover on there. That is the plan anyway. Whether it works or not remains to be seen. Now it does mean that my journal actually does have to fill that space really. Otherwise that's not going to fall. Uh, it's going to fall, fall in instead of stay uh, flat. Right, next job, I'm going to go around all my raw edges with more tape because that is just gives me a nice finish. So um, I probably, I'm trying to think, whether will I do a long strip along there? I might do panels, just little bits. I'll put it on fast forward anyway so you can see what I've done.
I've left the hardest bit till last. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, I might have to do this in small strips. Like that maybe. I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's try that. Put some glue down. Obviously because it's on a curve it's a bit difficult to manoeuvre but we'll see if this works. If we're quick and it doesn't work we can always um, probably whip it off and remove it. I think what I'll have to do is snip into it like that and see what happens. Let's pick you up and stick you down. As long as we cut our paper fairly close to that edge, it isn't really going to matter. Well, that's what I think anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Right, we're going to get a bit of a... I'd rather, if there was going to be rip, um, rooks and things in it, I'd rather it would be on this flap rather than on the actual edge because you'll see it, it'd be more noticeable. Right, let's keep going with this. It seems to be working after a fashion. But obviously if you did a square flap, um, that would be easier to... Um, to handle. It's only because I've decided to do a sort of circle on the edge. But if you don't try these things, you never know if it's possible or not. I think I will try again what I did, same sort of thing but down this end. Something like that and then we'll cover it up over the middle. Oops. More glue than paper there. I've done it the other way around, haven't I? Never mind. More paper there, right? Let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to try and smooth it on the edge. Might need another. That might be better, actually. Smaller tabs. Let's do that. Did I put glue on here? I can't remember. Doesn't look like it. giving a smoother edge. There we go. So these things are possible. Now, do I want that on there? Yes, I guess I do. I'll decide what I do with that top bit in just a mo. Let's see what we can do with this piece. and I think I will cut some smaller tabs in it. Could do with a glue refill, I think. Do it. 
worse I think I mean it looks a bit uh, grim where it's overlapped but I think we won't notice that it's not perfect but it's not a disaster either but I think I'm going to cut these little bits off and then we'll just pop a little bit on the edges just to make sure that we have covered all the rough edge. It's too wide. That's far too much glue. glue there but it won't matter it can dry and then um, I shan't put the cover on for a bit anyway I'll need to cut them down there we go oh no still seen two pieces we haven't done these two edges here let's just do those let's clear my scissors off a little one ouch and there's the other there we go that should should have all my raw edges covered now oops seems to have glued itself without glue I have glue everywhere except for where I want it right let's get rid of that excess glue because I don't want it everywhere right that should do us okay I know it looks a bit manky there but I'm hoping that if we get um, I could put something over the top of there, maybe. Is it worth it or should I just put a piece? Of, um, this is the perfectionist, you see. I see something that I'm not happy with and then I just can't leave it alone. I think... Um, I think I'll leave it and I will put some paper up against it and hopefully we won't see it. It'll be on the inside anyway, so yep, that will do for now. Okay, next I am going to um, get make some covers or inside and outside covers, or at least the papers. The trickiest bit, these are all going to just be cut to size. Um, there's not much point in me giving you the measurements because your uh, journals will be different to mine, but I would imagine that these will come in maybe about an eighth of an inch or something. So that's going to be eight inches. All of them will have a height of eight inches. And then this one, oh, silly ruler. There's a better ruler. This one, I'm going to say probably, what's that, one and uh three eighths is too much one and a quarter is not enough so one and five sixteenths or something like that but i'll work that out um for that one and the same goes this will be this is why you've got these bits here because it gives you some space and a little bit of leeway um to add your papers so six would be too much five and five and four five eighths five and sorry seven eighths would probably be fine for those panels and they should all be the same so I want four of those two of actually I need four of those four of those and two of these now this one 
obviously it's going to be more difficult and I'll show you what I've done. I have put this on a piece of card, in fact I butted it right up against the fold like that, even though I don't need it at the fold and I've drawn around it so that is the shape that that this flap is um, and I want my paper to start here and here so that's where I'm going to be cutting it off down there and then I've sketched a line about an eighth of an inch all the way around and then this bit here when I've cut down there as well this bit here will be my template and I'll use that to cut around my papers to put in on the cover. So let me go, I need to go and choose what papers I'm going to have and um, print them out. Um, and then I'll be back to um, show you how to put them back on, literally just gluing them on. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Right, several days have passed since I uh, um, did the rest of the video. I wanted to make my own papers for the, certainly for the front and back covers because um, I just wanted this lady to have something which was totally unique to me, something that I have made for her. Um, so I haven't got any pictures of the papers that I've made. I'm, on the inside cover, I'm going to use the pa these papers that I'd already made last year for this journal. Um, but for the outside cover, I've made some other things. I haven't got copies of them because I've cut them down to size, but you'll get the idea. This is a bit that I'm not using, I don't think. So it's that's one of the covers. Um, but let us, what I've done is cut everything. I've, I've worked out a massive list of the sizes that I needed. I've cut everything down to size. I've inked around the edges. All I've got to do is glue them in place. Um, so, and what I did do, as you can probably see, is mark, um, things there we go so that they go in the right places and that I've cut them to the right obviously turn them round that would help so let's start over this side with this cover and I'm using my my uh, yoohoo again I mean if I wanted to be I'd probably use beacon three and one if I was you know, had an unlimited supply, but it's very easy to get hold of you who. Right, so let's get sticking. So I did leave a little margin all the way around. I'm just going to try and sort of make sure it's relatively square. And that's why with covering these edges here, you don't, you know, you've got quite a big margin for error. And then we'll just put them all on and then that'll be it. So yes, it took me a little while to make the papers. I cut, uh, well, I've been up quite early this morning finishing them off. So I don't know how many hours I did the day before. I have, I've had to, um, I have to go to the hospital. I have to go every month for about five months and it's quite traumatic. It isn't very nice. I'll spare you the details, but um, yeah, so it kind of puts me out of action for a, a day or two, but um, I'm back again now for a bit till the next one. So I haven't done anything for the last couple of days is what I'm trying to say. There we go. So this is the inside cover, hopefully. I'll just double check in with myself that that's what it is. And I'll probably, I mustn't forget, I think I've put a little circle actually on one of these, but the outside spine I won't cover yet because I might uh, probably use pamphlet stitch, is it, to... Um, put the, I don't want to put that there, or, no I think it goes like that, um, to bind the signature into the journal so I'll leave the cover 
and it might be that I need to put it on um, on card rather than on paper it depends what I use to bind it all right so I'm not unduly worried that you know this doesn't matter you could, if you've got a large piece of paper you could um, make sure that yours went all the way through but you, I don't think you can see it for a start your journal's going to be in this bit the only bit really you're going to see is this end bit here so I figured it wasn't that important oops and again I'll just use that template And that seems to cover that fine. I am more than happy with that. So that's the inside cover. And now for the outside. Yes, this one here. I'm going to leave when I find it. So this is the front cover here. And I've printed them on... Um, well, it's copy paper, you know, uh, printer paper, but it's slightly thicker than the normal sort of stuff that you'd buy perhaps from the supermarket. I can't remember if it's about 90 GSM or something like that. I can't really remember. But I keep it in my room, not in the um, office with the printer. So that the premium stuff is here. And then, you know, my daughter can print out on the cheap supermarket stuff. Right, that goes there. I'm leaving that one wherever I find it. G can go up there. This is H. This is the other paper that I made. I'll show you it in a minute when I've glued it on. Okay, on we go. So that's the other one. And we've got, oh, we've got that and that. I don't think they match up, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's actually the same picture. Let's have a look. This, yeah, I'm not too fussed about that. I might even turn that around. Or will that butterfly annoy me? Hmm. This should match up with the right hand side over here. That was the plan. What should I do with that? I quite like that. Yes, I think I'll do that. Not going to worry about it. I mean, if you were particularly bothered about things matching up, you could print it out. I could print it out several times just to get the things to match up, but I'm, I'm not that first. And I'm turning this one around deliberately so that um, it gives a bit more interest. And then lastly, this one here. This one I did match up because it's going to be flipped over onto the front of the journal and I thought it would look better way up if I, uh, if I matched it up. That was the plan. I'm just going to, yeah, so it should more or less match with that. I will not fiddle with it too much and just put it down. So there we go, that's it. I've made the cover to the journal. That goes like that. That will go on there. We'll think of some way of fixing that when we get round to it. But I'm happy with that. And then the signature will fit in there like that. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know I'd done that, but so far, can you see the papers are uh, 
on the same papers. I don't know if I like that or not. That's kind of interesting. I might keep that. So I think what I might do next is my next time I come back, I don't know when it'll be because I'm I'm going away. For, well, I'm not going away for the weekend. I'm going to my sister's for um, some more Prosecco in the hot tub because um, she's very kindly invited me after my stressful week. So um, I will be popping along to there. So I think I might sew that in and get it in and then we'll just um, work on the pages or shall I work on the pages first I don't know what to do yet maybe I'll wait because I might have things that I want to sew in so we'll work on the pages and then we'll, we'll we'll put this in and and work out the rest but the cover is done the pages are done we've just got to do the fun bit really the the decorating it I'm glad I'm doing this now I feel more I certainly feel more motivated so uh, hope you enjoyed that bit of a long one to begin with but I shall do shorter videos now when I do the um, ephemera and bits and pieces to, to go in here okay folks thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that that's the beginning of my mushroom journal um, have a lovely weekend and um, I'll be back again soon bye for now